Hello folks, in this tutorial I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on how to mat out your footage in Adobe Premiere Pro so that you can create different aspect ratios for your films. Before we go through actually how to do it, let's examine the different aspect ratios that you can have at your disposal. The most common aspect ratio, and the one that you've probably been shooting in, is this that you can see here in this monitor window. And this aspect ratio is 1.77 to 1. If you've been shooting in HD, it's likely that this is the ratio of your image. And it's the same ratio of your television screen at home. So if you're watching TV at home, it's likely that a TV broadcast will fill the screen in all four corners, like so. And this ratio is known as 1.77 to 1. However, you've got other ratios that you can work with. Your original footage will look like this. However, you can mat it out to this ratio, which is 1.85 to 1. Now this actually is the ratio that widescreen cinema works in. When it was first introduced in the late 50s, it was created as a, a wider alternative to the square 4.3 ratio that TVs used to be. Many films today at the cinema are this ratio, 1.85 to 1. And if you watch them on TV, say on a Blu-ray or a DVD player, you might see a slight black bar here and a slight black bar here. But they're barely noticeable, you might not have noticed them. And in all honesty, a lot of people can't see the difference really between the 1.85 to 1, which is a cinema widescreen, and normal TV widescreen, which is this ratio, 1.77 to 1. It simply just doesn't have those little black bars here and here. So your first option is, oops, I beg your pardon. So your first option is 1.85 to 1. But I've got to be honest, it's so similar to 1.77 to 1, it's unlikely you'd use it. Your second option is this one, 2.35 to 1, which was introduced uh, sometime after the 1.85 to 1, really sort of in the 60s, and it was sometimes known as scope. By the time we get to the 70s though, this was replaced by this ratio. If you look at it, 2.40 to 1, it's just slightly narrower than 2.35 to 1. And to be honest, a lot of widescreen films you'll get today will be a mix really between films like this, 2.40 to 1, and this one here, 1.85 to 1. Now, if you go to the cinema today or watch films at home on DVD or Blu-ray, you'll probably experience two ratios. This one here that has the bars on, and this one here that has very limited bars. But it's largely these two that you'll see when it comes to filmmaking. And we can use a couple of examples by Steven Spielberg to sort of highlight the different ratios that get used today. Um, the film E.T., for example, if you watch that on DVD or Blu-ray, will be in this ratio, 1.85 to 1. Whereas another Steven Spielberg film, like, say, Minority Report or War Horse, will be in this ratio, 2.40 to 1. And they've got different effects creatively. Now, I'm not going to go into the creative reasons why directors might choose these different ratios. I think, in all honesty, that's a different tutorial for a different day. But suffice to say, these largely are the two ratios that you might want to play with. The more standard ratio, 1.85 to 1, and this ratio, 2.40 to 1. But also, um, sort of rather late in the day, and this came in around about 2013, if you've seen uh, House of Cards on Netflix, this uses something called Univision, which is 2.0 to 1, or 2 to 1. Now, this format was devised by, um, I think it was Vittorio Storara in the late 90s, and was really little used up until House of Cards, which um, seems to have popularised it. And it'll be interesting to see whether this ratio really catches on. It's sort of, um, it's an interesting one. It's halfway between the uh, rather dramatic 2.40 and the slightly more subtle 1.85, um, but 2.0 to 1 is now um, what House of Cards is um, broadcast in. Whether it gets picked up and uh, used is another matter, we'll have to see. Now for the time being though, let's focus on how you actually mat out your footage to create these aspect ratios. So let's start with a piece of footage I've got here. 
And again, just to remind you, this footage is 1.77 to 1 as its original ratio. But if you want to mat it out, the tool you're going to use is under Video Effects. You go down to Transform and Crop. Drag Crop onto the video layer. Go to Effect Controls. And if you want to create a ratio of 2.4, to 1, you'll put the top to 13 and the bottom to 30, like so. If you want to create a ratio of 1.85 to 1, that'll be 2% on the top and 2% on the bottom. If you want to create the House of Cards ratio, which is called Univision, that'll be 6% on the top and 6% on the bottom. Now, here's the maths part. I've just created this for you here, a little table. I'll talk you through how these calculations work. 1.77 is the ratio that you've shot in. You then divide that by the ratio that you want. So example, you might divide 1.77 that you shot in by the ratio that you want, 2.40. This equals 0.7375. Round it up to 0.74. Times that by 100 equals 74. Take this away from 100 and that equals 26. You halve that 26, and the crop you need then is 13. 13% 13 at the top, and 13% at the bottom. However, folks, if you don't want to do those calculations, I've already prepared them for you. So let's run through them now. You can make a note of them, if you like, as we go along. So, if you want to have a ratio of 1.85 to 1, the crop should be two on the top and two on the bottom. If you want a ratio of 2.35 to 1, your crop should be 12 on the top and 12 on the bottom. If you want a ratio of 2.40 to 1, your crop should be 13 on the top and 13 on the bottom. And if you want a crop of 2 to 1, your crop should be 6 on the top and 6 on the bottom. And if you want the calculation, I'll just leave this up here and you can pause the tutorial here if you wish. Okay folks, I hope you found that useful. See you in the next tutorial.